care of somebody else I know and uh, it's nice to see that they got a fairly good result even though they did have the knockdown and the time fault it was uh, certainly a good experience for them now we'll move on to uh, Will Simpson who's going to ride a Will Simpson stables entry Chaco P Chaco P is a, a nine-year-old Mecklenburg gelding by Chaco Blue and Will's always fun to watch and this horse is a little unorthodox and a little high-headed, and, you know, Will has to work around that a little bit, and sometimes he ends up with too much blood, although today it looks a little quieter, I'd say. It was very smooth there. And Will certainly is not always one to count a number there. He just wants to get straight here. Oh, I don't think the horse got his eye on that, Brian. No, I, I don't think so either. Sort of a, a little bit of a late turn to the uh, vertical, the Liverpool vertical here. It is a little distracting. You know, we're over here right in where that jump is uh, right underneath where we are sitting. And it's hard to get the horse's eye on it. Sometimes there's a lot of banners here and it's spooky. And he came out so far that maybe the horse just didn't even know he was supposed to jump that. Yeah, not too bad a breeze right now, but it does have the flags moving a little bit as well. And uh, definitely uh, this side of the ring has proven to be a little bit of a distraction throughout the week. I don't think what we saw there is all that common of Will Simpson. Olympic rider, a World Cup uh, finalist, and definitely one of the most respected riders, not just on the West Coast, but throughout the sport. It's great to walk the course with, too. You know, I mean, it's so it's so nice. Uh, there's a lot of camaraderie when you walk these classes to uh, talk to one another and talk to other professional riders as well, and you bounce ideas off of each other, and sometimes it helps you in your planning of the course.